is up MFers? Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. I'm super jacked for today's video because like usual, we are gonna mix it up, do something I have never done ever on my channel. So there's locally a lake that's being drained. It's being brought down because it has zebra mussels in it. And, and that's neither here nor there. We're not really gonna go there with that and how I feel about that situation. And it's actually a lake that I'm super familiar with. I've fished a whole bunch. And because I've fished there a whole bunch, I have, you know, I've done what every fisherman's done. I've gotten snagged a whole bunch and I've lost a whole bunch of lures there. Now this presents an excellent opportunity because since the water's being drawn down, it's now exposing a bunch of those lures. So we're gonna head over to that lake today and we're gonna take a look around, see if we can find some of my old lures, a bunch of other fishermen's old lures. I honestly don't know what the hell we're going to find today. It's probably going to be some really cool stuff that's going to be unearthed. I'm super freaking jacked about it. Now, before we head over there today, I want to show you guys this brand new beanie design since it is very freaking cold out here today. I know it's cold in a lot of parts of the country. Go pick up one of these new Melican Fishing Patch beanies, hats. I got a bunch of new cold weather gear on my site, melicanfishing.com. I'll link it right down below. And remember, every single purchase, every item purchased on my website enters you uh, until the end of November for a chance to win an all-inclusive pay trip with yours truly. So let's head over to the lake, see what the hell we can find. Then we're gonna bring those back to the house, clean those baits up, and uh, see if they're even reusable again, see if we find some cool stuff. I don't know what we're gonna find. Let's go. Okay, MFers just got to the lake. As you can, uh, you probably can't see from here at all. I gotta walk down because they have it actually all blocked off. You're not supposed to drive down here because people probably get stuck in the mud and whatnot. But this is all I brought with me today. I got a, uh, a bucket to put whatever lures, contraptions we find. And of course, a scissors because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of this retaining mat stuff that uh, was very, very snaggy and I lost a lot of lures in, so I'm probably gonna have to cut my, my baits out of some of that stuff. So the lakes, as you can see, has not been completely drawn down, but the water used to come to right here and now it's way out there. And I can already tell this is super, super cool because this used to be one of my favorite spots to fish uh, when the water was up. It's a road, but you can see the road going straight across that way comes straight down from where we just parked right there. So roadbed was extremely, extremely snaggy. Let's head up uh, Let's head up to the roadbed and, and see what's been exposed. Let's see if there's any baits in there. I know I lost about a million baits in the roadbed. So let's see what we can find. Look at this guy, big catfish and hook. We're not gonna take that because we we don't need any big giant rusty hooks, but pretty much what we expect to find. Ooh, look at this dude. I expected to see a bunch of these guys. Looks like he's a little bit cold. Mr. Crawl Dad. Oh hey, what's up golf ball? I don't know, do we do we keep golf balls or do we throw them back? There's two actually. Eh, we'll, we'll pick them up, why not? Another real big catfishing hook. Man, a lot of people must have catfished out here. I never did actually, but I mean that doesn't really do much good for us. Here's a cool thing, pliers. Those are a wee bit rusty. Let's, uh, let's take those home, see if we can wash them up a little bit. Definitely gonna be tough to find anything around here. As you can see, got a bunch of snow over the weekend, so that's pretty packed in. We're gonna have to come back when that melts maybe later this week. This ice is gnarly, it's so thin. But as you can see, it's like two inches deep underneath it. Let's play on it. Look at this right here. There's a whole power drill. What the hell was someone doing with the power drill? I gotta check that out. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work anymore, but there's a whole freaking power drill here. That's probably gonna be my most expensive find of the day, but unfortunately it doesn't really do anything for us. It's like a nicer drill than I freaking got, but you know it's destroyed. It's been sitting in the damn water. Huh, here's a little cranking bait. Little bomber crankbait, sick. Another golf ball. Apparently hitting golf balls aimlessly randomly into a lake is a thing. I, I didn't know that. Here we go. Some shorts. I talked to you guys the other day. You randomly see underwear and shorts and boxers at these public lakes. I don't freaking get it, but there's more. Yeah, I, I don't know. Lipless bait, still in good shape. Just a little mud cover. Another lipless bait. And a crappie jig. Ooh, a little spoon action. The old daredevil. Look at this freaking sicko. This guy is giant. As you guys know, plastics expand when they uh, are in the water for a long time, especially very salty ones. This guy's huge. This, someone lost their entire fishing pole and it's destroyed now because it's frozen into the earth. Sorry, bud. The old cotton Cordell super spot. This was like the first lipless bait I ever used. Another cranking bait stuck in this retaining mat stuff. This is what I was telling you guys about that I got snagged in a million times. I'm sure everyone else did too. Excalibur lipless. 
pretty cool. Oh, what's up, Mr. Crawdad? That guy is, might still be hanging on. These guys aren't doing too good in the cold, though. Little bitty guy, little bomber crankbait. A little Strike King action. I think rattle trap that's actually in good shape. Looking a little bobber. Well, so far, my friends, we got to a very good start. We got about 20 crankbaits, a bunch of golf balls, pair of pliers, and, and this freaking actual real nice, uh, it was real nice, DeWalt power drill. So we found a pretty decent amount of cool stuff down there. Now we're gonna go across the lake in a couple areas where uh, I've actually lost a bunch of lures myself personally. So we're gonna check those areas out and then we're gonna head home, get these baits washed up and uh, see what all we got today. Now I got a feeling a lot of you guys are gonna comment and wanna see me use these baits in the future. So I'll tell you this right now, if this video gets 2,500 thumbs ups, I will make a video in the future using only the baits I, I found in this video to go catch bass. So go hit the thumbs up button right now and of course go subscribe. All right, let's head to the other side of the lake. Shad wrap. Another fishing pole. This one's not in quite as good shape. Oh yeah, little wiggling guy. I don't think that's a real wiggle wart though. Another lipless bait, that's an actual rattle trap. <laughs> These guys lost their anchor. Had to cut the whole damn rope. Well, there's your anchor back, guys. <laughs> little Rapala DT guy. Okay guys, just got back to the old house. Man, I'm glad I'm back to the house. It's freaking cold outside, it's like 30 degrees. So we didn't spend a whole lot of time out there, but regardless, look at all the stuff we got here. We still freaking cleaned up, did awesome. Literally cleaned up the shoreline uh, at the lake that has been drained down about eight feet. It's still got a ways to come down, so maybe we'll go back and uh, check it out, do a little bit more treasure hunting with this stuff. But first step is gonna be, all the hooks are destroyed on these baits. So we're gonna clip off all the hooks on these and then we're gonna make a little solution, soak these baits in there for about an hour uh, and then scrub them clean. But uh, yeah, at that point, we're definitely gonna have some very fishable baits. Again, like I said earlier, if you guys wanna see me fish uh, and, and catch fish, hopefully on these baits in a video in the future, let me know and uh, drop a thumbs up. But let's get to uh, clipping these hooks off. muddy mess but as you can see got all the nasty old hooks out of uh, all these baits they're gonna be much easier to clean and deal with at this point now we need to wash them off I'm not sure how this is gonna work but let's uh, let's mix together our formula we can soak these guys in uh, and then we can get to scrub them so here is a uh, solution that was actually recommended by an MF -er that uh, did this here recently uh, it's hot water a little bit of dish soap and uh, of course baking soda precise measurements of uh, I don't know a little bit of that and uh, a little bit of bacon, so I don't freaking know how much you need. We're just gonna mix it together and uh, hope it does its magics. So once it's mixed together, we're gonna put all of our stuff, including this pair of pliers and tools and everything, we're gonna dump them into this guy and, and continue making our, uh, our muddy, disgusting mess. We're gonna leave these guys in here for about an hour or so. And at that point, we're gonna get the old toothbrush out, do a little bit of scrubbing and uh, see how they turn out. Okay guys, these have been sitting for about an hour now. So it's time to uh, take our little toothbrush, a bunch of these uh, paper towels and do a bit of work on them. Okay, got all the baits washed off for the most part. A couple of them are definitely gonna need the wire brush to make them work a little bit better, and a couple of them uh, I think are a no-go because they split open and now they are sinkers. But let's take a look at this, we did pretty well. So we got a uh, swim bait, which is basically uh, not usable anymore. It's all, it's destroyed. So we'll probably just throw this guy away, but cool little find. Uh, a spoon from Woods, Fuller, Schultz, and Smith PC. Uh, I'm sure that helps you catch more fish when it says that on there. Um, this guy is a Berkeley Flicker Shad. You're looking a little croc over there. Rapala DT Thug, I believe, DT Flat, or, or something like that. Um, once again, this guy's split, so he's probably uh, out of commish, but cool bait, definitely was a good one for a lot of people. This is a Bomber, I think it's a Square A in a good little color. Uh, Lucky Craft, I believe. Not sure on the color or model, it's a 2.5 size, so that's probably all that is. Uh, Flicker Shad again, a little Bandit Crankbait. Little itty bitty tiny crank, but this is the smallest one I found. This is like one of those Walmart ones, I think. Uh, and then another small uh, bomber model crankbait. D 
DT10, Rapala DT10. Uh, again, this guy uh, I think was cracked. Yeah, cracked right there. So water did get in there. So he is uh, he's gonna be a no go as well because he's a sinker now. But cool bait. This guy is a Berkeley Digger, Stretch King KVD 2.5 and Sexy Shad. Pretty cool. This guy has a bunch of hook rash on him, so he's got some fish for somebody. I believe this is a Bass Pro Shops. It's not a Wiggleo, I don't think, but it's some type of wiggle wart knockoff crankbait. Uh, slip bobber, actually, not slip bobber, a spring bobber, which is totally usable. It's like another little smaller size flicker shad. Uh, another rapala bait there. That's a shad wrap. That's a, a really good bait, but unfortunately, all these wood balsa baits cracked underwater. I don't know if it was the uh, the ice, the cold temperatures, or what, but another destroyed bait. Uh, Rapala lipless bait. This is either a, a Booyah or Excalibur. Uh, looks like Excalibur X75, unfortunately. It is the one knocker. That's actually a pretty valuable bait right there. An actual rattle trap in the smaller size, half ounce rattle trap, uh, three cotton cordell super spots, and then this is a Bass Pro Shops brand lipless bait. And then of course we also got that power drill which I looked up and was like over a hundred dollar value as well. So that was a pretty cool find too. So definitely a fun time out there today picking up some baits. You know, not only do I have uh, some baits now that I can go use again, let me know if you guys want to see me use these baits in a future video, um, but it also helps clean the area up and get some of the trash out of there. So always good to go out and do a little bit treasure hunting and maybe some of you guys are out in Omaha, uh, or if you have other lakes in your area that are being drained or they're really low, they get drawn down in the winter, awesome time to go out and pick up some baits. And of course, learn the bottom contours of uh, wherever you're gonna be fishing when the water is higher in the summer when it's warmer um, to help you catch more fish, of course. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know if you like this type of video and let me know if you wanna see me go out and fish with some of these baits that I just found right here today. Thanks so much for watching this one. I'm out of here, peace. I'm not sorry, I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't